Capricorn. This your weekly message. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for booking with me. Thank y'all confirmation for all the support. We about to see what's going on. What's y'all message this week? We got the language by Drake. You know Drake is a Scorpio. Confirmation, y'all dealing with Scorpio. Double confirmation. Um, we gonna ground. Thank y'all for all the new subscribers, all y'all who booking with me. Thank y'all for the love and support. Thank y'all for following me. Let's get into this message. Go ground first. Too attached to me, so maybe you attached to somebody. Somebody been talking smack about you, and it's getting back to you. Somebody smokes and fuck. I smoke and drink. And then they go fuck. Look inside yourself. So it's time for y'all to look at the man in the mirror. Capricorn, it's time for y'all to examine why you feel in the way that you're feeling. And it starts from the man within. If it's something that you need to let go, you need to let it go. If it's something that you need to embark on, then embark on the journey. But don't stay stagnant, don't stay stuck. You can't go backwards. All you can do is move forward. The past is not behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Thanks. Hey. Confirmation. Faith is assumptions of things, hope for evidence of things not seen. So you should have faith that your dreams will come true. Have faith that your manifestations are coming true. Have faith that you're going to get the love that you desire. The love that's right for you. Somebody is annoyed by a person. Aggravated. Maybe y'all on a little break. Not seeing things on the same page. But you're missing this person. Certain music makes you think about them. How y'all used to be playful. Childish. How y'all used to vibe together. How you felt when this person held you. person made you feel safe in their arms. This is someone that you felt connected to. All right now, you're walking down memory lane and you're not making a decision. You're just stuck in one space, in one place. Not moving forward or backwards. You're on the fence about something. Whether it's taking this person back. But you're on the fence about something. You're in your head. It is full of energy. Don't you have a new passionate start? With someone. That you're missing. Being with. 
holding you. Somebody that ghosted you, or you ghosted them. They're coming towards you obsessively. This person might be a hustler. And get their money in multiple ways. They want to celebrate with you. And that's what they're obsessing about. They're obsessing about this new passionate beginning that you and them are destined for. They're obsessing on how to come towards you because they've had some type of epiphany. They stuck on you and they see you as the one. They feel like they prayed for someone like you. They stuck on your sex too. Are you stuck on this person's sex? Or this person is ready to get in their vehicle and come towards you. Somebody can have a black vehicle. Somebody can have a blue vehicle. They can have like special kind of headlights. This person just wants to move forward. They don't want to look back. They just want to build and grow with you. Start a new life with you. Be your lover. They're coming towards their lover. Could be a Gemini. You the one that this Gemini has prayed for. Okay. Perfect. Spiritual connection. Somebody that makes you happy. As you feel like this is your empress, you might be destined to have a child, maybe that new passionate beginning. But you have a lot of love for this person, or they have a lot of love for you. They're coming in to be direct, properly take you out on a date, possibly. Because they've been, I'm hearing, missing you. I'm hearing. Um, Diana Ross missing you. Tell me why the rule turn. I'm missing you. Tell me why the rule turn. Okay. Why did y'all end? They obsessing about that. They obsessing about being with a, in a relationship with you. Reviving this relationship, transforming this relationship. They know that they want to celebrate with you. They know that they are happy with you. They've had an epiphany that you are their wish come true. They've had a, some type of epiphany for sure. You make this person happy. Somebody can have blonde hair. Somebody could be fair-skinned. Aries, or someone just wants to take a new journey in the right direction to start this relationship back over, surrender, and a decision it has been made. At the bottom of the deck, we got Emperor, and we already have the Empress, so Emperor and Empress. This is a destined connection, like I said. Yep. Emperor, the world card, they in their head about it, and this is your justice. So this person is about to come towards you, bossing up, loving you right, catering to you, showing you how much they care about you. If you was doubting them, they about to come in so they can change your mind. We got the letters. We got Sue. S-U-E. We got C. S-E-A. Sun. Eat. 
sauce. Talking about a house. E's, E A S E. East, E A S T. Ashe. C S E E. Let's see what y'all songs is. Tevin Campbell is a Scorpio and Whitney Houston saving all my love is a Leo confirming Leo and confirming the um the death card for Scorpio Capricorn Capricorn this is definitely you Confirming or Aries as well, Sagittarius or a Pisces, number four and nine. So my birthday could be April the ninth, September the fourth, two four two nine, January the fourth, January the ninth, April the fourth, April the ninth, April the sixth. Twelve, six, twelve, four, twelve, nine. That's it. Thank y'all for rocking with me. This is y'all message. See y'all for the weekend. Y'all be safe. I love y'all.